Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney from Modern Wall Street. And standing to the right of me, it's been quite some time, I have Stephen Guilfoyle, better known as Sarge, speaking with me exclusively on the floor. And yeah, it's been a really long time and the pleasure's all mine, sir. No, no, the pleasure, Jimmy, is all mine. <laughs> so I have to ask you what's, what's been on everybody's mind, not just this past week, but the past month as well. Yesterday, we had the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. And we all know there was a hike by 25 basis points. The markets were up. But today, the market's open and we're down. What's going on? We probably got a little overbought towards the end of yesterday's trading session. But today's about two different things. It has nothing to do with the Fed. Okay, well, maybe it has a little to do with the Fed. But weak oil and the strong U.S. dollar are impacting today's trading session. So you're seeing a lot of the indices come in pretty hard today. We did see support at 2047 on the S&P 500, which was support yesterday, almost all day long. So I think that might be significant. Well, I have to ask you about one point that you discussed, weak oil prices. Oil has been very, very weak as of late, but there seemed to be a little bit of a rally, a fingers crossed rally. But today they're down again. Can you explain it, if, if, if it's even had any, mar any effect on the equities markets? Well, certainly. I mean, the energy sector is the weakest sector of the day. WTI crude is below $35 a barrel, which is significant, and it weakens the whole market. It weakens almost everything. Uh, when you go within that energy sector and within, so let's say, the transport sector, you see marine shippers down 3% across the board. You see the railroads getting hit. You see, you see trucking getting hit. The only thing saving the transports today is, uh, is delivery services because it's the Christmas season and there's, there's a lot of uh, Amazon purchasing going on. So you mentioned it, the Christmas season. After yesterday's results with the FOMC, a lot of investors are now seeming to close up their books for the year. Not a lot seems to be going on. Not a lot to look forward to for the remainder of this year, the last two weeks. What do you expect? Will we see a Santa rally? How's Christmas going to shape up here for equities? Well, you know, the, the tax selling season seems to be done. That, fortunately, seems out of the way, and it was quite volatile this year. If oil can stabilize, and we we got to be getting near a bottom at some point, I would think. I mean, I wouldn't bet the farm on it, but we got to be getting somewhere near a bottom. If oil stabilizes, yes, we have a shot at a Santa Claus rally. You won't see it till the last week or so of the year, but we could we make a run at 2100? I don't think that's impossible at all on the S&P 500, I'm speaking. And one last question. It's Christmas, and it seems like us Mets fans got a gift. Bartolo Colon signed to a year. Your thoughts? Who doesn't want the big sexy to stay in New York? <laughs> <laughs> well said, Sarge. As always, it's a privilege, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your time.